In order to demonstrate sync and source wiring for VFD inputs, I have the Schneider Electric ATV12 user manual open. And under control diagram connections, they show various connections for source and sync. Let me explain. So what they allow you to do is they allow you to adapt your logic inputs to an external control system like a programmable controller. So you can set them for source or sync. It shows you the wiring diagrams to adapt. Now Schneider Electric does not use a dip switch to select between sync and source. You have a parameter and it shows you where that parameter is. It's on, a, it's on page 51 in the manual. You change the parameter from positive to negative depending on if you're using a source or sync operation. So under source operation using an external source. So an external source would come from another control system like a programmable controller. You take a zero volt from that external programmable controller. You connect it to your common on your drive. And S24 connects to the switches. When the switches close, you have plus 24 volts at those digital logic inputs. And you have a run command or a true condition in that case. Now, when you're using sync logic with an external source, your plus 24 from your external source connects to the 24 volt on your drive. You can see where my mouse is. And your zero volts connects to your switches. And when you close a switch, you have zero volts at that logic input from the supply. And you will have a run con or a true condition at those logic inputs. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you have to change a parameter setting. You do not have a dip switch as you do with Allen Bradley, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate that after I demonstrate the ATV12 unit. So you have to change that programming. If you want to just use the internal power supply that comes with the drive for a local application, and you want to use source wiring, you use this diagram. For your logic inputs you take plus 24 you connect to one side of the switch or switches and when you close the switch you have 24 volts at that input and that is a high or run command you will have to check to make sure that your parameter is set to recognize that as this drive does not have a dip switch it has a parameter if you prefer to use sync wiring you take a wire from your common right here you place it on one side of the switch. When you close the switch, you have your zero volt com level at those switches and the drive will respond. That will be a run command. And again, you have to set the parameter accordingly. I'm going to further demonstrate source and sync wiring using a single line or single switch control of a variable frequency drive. I have a template open. I'm going to provide you with this template. It's for a Schneider Electric Drive. I also have one for an Allen Bradley Drive that you can use. The software is also free. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a foot switch controlling a variable frequency drive. All right, so fairly straightforward, and I'll draw it using source wiring. So that, that would be the most common way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to take a wire. I'm going to connect from the plus 24 volts to digital input one or logic input one as Schneider Electric calls it. I'm going to take a foot switch, I'm going to place it on that input. When somebody steps on that foot switch, there's plus 24 volts on that logic input and the drive runs in forward or reverse or whatever direction they assign to that input and what, at whatever speed they assign also. Okay, it's that straightforward. Now the default configuration for the control is source. So you wouldn't have to make any parameter changes in that case. Now I'm going to demonstrate drawing out sync wiring for a single digital input. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a wire from our common or zero volt. 
and we're going to take it up to the first logic input. Hopefully I can line it up okay here. Oh, look at that. Snap right to the grid. In this case, we're going to be controlling a blower. So I'm going to take a the switch, drop it on that wire. When this switch closes, calling for the blower to exhaust, you follow my mouse, the zero volts is at that logic input. Now, what you have to do if you prefer to use this wiring is you have to set parameter in the drive. If you were working with another drive like an Allen Bradley, PowerFlex 4, PowerFlex 4M, or others, you would have a dip switch and you would have to change the dip switch to reflect the type of control.